Alright, we're just going to do this real quick. This is going to be uh, labeled keys, the key to the kingdom of heaven, which um, Jesus Christ gave to Peter because of him um, being used by the Father to announce who Jesus Christ really is. Um, in this, we're going to establish that it is the Lord God's work and it is his um, workmanship that um, has the keys to the kingdom of heaven. And Jesus Christ, um, his son, who uh, came and died on the cross for our sins so that we can be forgiven and we can be with him by that same spirit that raised him from the dead. And um, that is what uh, Peter had when he announced that um, he is Jesus Christ. Because uh, Jesus Christ told him that the Father is the one that gave him that word to speak. And this is the connection with the Father. And uh, that is sanctification and salvation. And there's nothing that can take that away from anybody. Unless it be God himself. <clears throat> Which also brings to mind that... Um, Um, salvation and being saved is of God it is his work therefore it cannot be lost okay it's his it's not going anywhere it's always going to be there all right it's not something that we can take away from him so once saved always saved that is a correct doctrine um, the words itself explain it once saved always saved because uh, Jesus Christ is the proof of that and Jesus Christ uh, came here as an objective point for our human minds to identify who God is and all through the Bible it explains that um, it is the will of God that makes things happen, not us. An analogy would be, or, or better yet, we cook dinner because of all the things that are provided. You know, that's how God takes care of our care of our family. It's not it's not us. It's the glory to the God Most High, because it is all Him, and it is all for Him. Okay. It's not us. Every good and perfect gift comes from the Father of Lights. All right, and as we get into this, we're going to also run through Revelation 13, because this makes, this is just going to hit the nail in the coffin, okay? Revelation 13. People are always wondering what it means And he causeth all, both small and great, rich and poor, free and bond, to receive a right mark in their hand or in their foreheads. He causeth all. That's not a joke. That's not a joke at all. All of them. Okay? Everybody. In their foreheads. And that no man might buy or sell, save he that had the mark or the number of his name. <clears throat> and these um, uh, get thrown into the lake of fire
There it is. Revelation 19. And it is um, here it is. And the beast was taken in him with him, the false prophet that wrought miracles before him, with which he deceived them that had received the mark of the beast and them worshiping his image. These both were cast alive into the lake of fire. And them that worshiped his image. And the remnant were slain with the sword of him that sat upon a horse which sword proceeded out of his mouth, and the fowls were filled with their flesh. Okay, so... <clears throat> See, we have a... Uh, we have a law of sin. And we have the law of righteousness. And the only strength to the law of sin is through the law, the original law, the law of cause and effect, and the law of God, which is righteousness. Because uh, righteousness is judge, righteous judgment. Okay? So people are always wondering what, what the mark of the beast is, okay? It's what it says right here. It's the beast. It's the beast. It's not acknowledging that everything is already done by the will of God, okay? Because this, this, all, took, this all takes place. This is all just being explained by holy men who are in connection with the Lord God as as I described to you earlier with Peter acknowledging that Jesus Christ is the anointed king of the Jews by the Most High God and his son. Okay, nobody who, people who don't have the Holy Spirit can't say that. It's not possible for them to do. Okay, so if you acknowledge, if you know that Jesus Christ died for your sins, you're saved. It's just that simple. It's grace. Okay, so here we're going to start this out. We're going to get into it. Uh, we're going to get into Ephesians 2. Okay, and we're going to read from uh, Ephesians 2 to uh, probably around 9, <clears throat> 10, maybe 11. Okay. And you hath he quickened, who were dead in trespasses and sins, where in time past you walked according to the course of this world. Okay, according to the course of this world. That's what um, these people are doing. They're walking. These people already have the mark. It's not some RID chip. Okay. That is the mark. It's a mark. It's 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 already implying that it's a mark. It's telling you right here that it is a mark. He's marking them. He's marking what was done down in the book. You know? Because he was there. He's been there. Paul wrote this. He's been there, man. You know? Where in time passed... You walked according to the course of this world, according to the prince of the power of the air, the spirit that now worketh in the children of disobedience. The disobedience is um, those who do not acknowledge God's work done in all things. 
because he is the beginning and the end. Among whom we all had our conversations, conversation in times past in the lusts of our flesh. Okay. In the lusts of our flesh. It's also marking that again. In the lusts of our flesh. Fulfilling the desires of the flesh. And were by nature the children of wrath, even as others. But God, who is rich in mercy, for his great love wherewith he loved us, even when we were dead in sins. Okay, so tell me. This is the first death, people. I don't know how many of you think that it's not, but coming here, it just said in the Holy Bible that you're dead in sins without with, without the belief. Once you have belief, we will continue now. Even when we were dead in sins, have quickened us together in Christ, by grace ye are saved. And hath raised us up together, and made us sit together in heavenly places in Jesus Christ. We sit together in heavenly places in Jesus Christ because the Father is the one doing things. And we are with him, and we acknowledge that he is supreme, and he is our Father who takes care of us like a good Father does. Okay? that in ages to come he might shew the exceeding riches of his grace and his kindness towards us through Jesus Christ. For by grace ye are saved through faith, and that not of yourselves, it is God. Okay, it says gift. It is the gift of God, but it is God. Okay, because a gift, you can't give anything without you being the one who presents what is theirs to gift to you. You understand what I'm saying? So it's God's gift. You know, you gotta give somebody give somebody something. First you gotta have it. Okay. So the gift of God. For grace for by grace ye are saved through faith, and that's not of yourselves. Okay? That's what Jesus Christ was explaining in Matthew sixteen to all the disciples when Peter said that he is the Son of God. The Father in heaven gave him those words and used his mouth and Jesus Christ was verifying in front of everybody. See, you can't if you say that, if you believe that Jesus Christ is the Son of God then you're saved and you believe that he died for your sins because he had to come here to do it and then rose from the dead then you're saved it's just that simple it's not any difficult thing you know it's not about trying to keep the law trying to be a good person it's not anything like that man it's because believe me this place is real dude and Everybody does things that they have to do because of the way this world is. This earth was set up for judgment. Everything here is under righteous judgment. Okay? Just, just, just think about that, you know? I mean, just the fact that there is such a thing as righteous judgment means that we're involved in something that is really serious and it's beyond our control. Okay, so that's that's why Jesus Christ came was to save us from that because He loves us. For by grace you are saved through faith, and that's not of yourselves; it is the gift of God, 
not of works, at least any man should boast. Okay, not of works. All right, so we're going to jump over here. People always get freaked out about where the mark of the beast is coming from. And let no man buy or sell. Okay. And that no man might buy or sell. Okay. Not of works. Okay. You are saved. Not of works. At least any man should boast. It's not of ourselves. Okay. That no man might buy or sell. Save he that had the mark, or the name of the beast, and the number of his name. Okay, it's obviously 666. So, it's explaining that you're not in the world. You are seated with Christ in heavenly places already. Your sin is already dead it has to pass away it's under judgment okay but we live together with christ already all right because it's his work done if you consciously like your conscience if you consciously know that then you're saved because it is the beginning and the ending which is god okay all right, it's the one that holds everything together. It's the lesson teacher. It's the one who teaches us the lessons. For instance, when we get what we want, we just want more. And then all of a sudden, we can't get what we want. It's life explaining to you that you aren't in charge. You know, it's life. God is life. He is life. See, these, these acts, people really are dead in sin, okay? It's not kidding, all right? For by grace ye are saved through faith, and that not of yourselves, it is the gift of God, not of works, lest any man should boast. For we are his workmanship created in Jesus Christ unto good works, which God hath before ordained that we should walk in them. God already made us do everything that we're going to do in this life. Therefore, we have a Sabbath rest permanently in Jesus Christ. Okay? Permanently. We rest because everything's done. Jesus Christ said it is finished. And he meant it. He meant everything that he said. Okay. Alright, so going back up here. This is an example of what uh, salvation is. Okay. So Jesus is asking his disciples, Whom do men say that I the Son of Man am? And they said, they said, Some say thou art John the Baptist, some Elias, and others Jeremiah, or one of the prophets. And he saith unto them, But whom say ye that I am? And Simon Peter answered and said, Thou art the Christ, the Son of the living God. The living God, who tells you that he's the living God constantly. He's the one. He's he's the God who does stuff. Okay. It's not mankind. Mankind is here for the judgment. They were a trap for his other created beings to get trapped in and die. Basically, because they they broke his law, you know, they thought that they could be better than who God is. They thought that they could be better than the one true omnipotent God, because he gave them perfectness, you know. 
That's how that worked out. And Jesus answered and said unto him, Thou art blessed, Simon Barjona, for flesh and blood hath not revealed this to thee, but my Father which is in heaven. <clears throat> All right, so we identify that this is the connection. God made Jesus made uh, Simon Peter say, Thou art the Christ, the Son of the living God. Now Jesus, in reply to that statement, says, I say also unto thee that thou art Peter, and upon this rock I will build my church, and the gates of hell shall not prevail against it. And I will give unto thee the keys to the kingdom of heaven, keys to the kingdom of heaven um, is acknowledging Jesus Christ just told him that he Jesus Christ just allowed uh, Simon Peter he blessed him as he um, was hearing from his father through Peter and that is the key to the kingdom of heaven knowing that God is what does things. Okay? In you, outside of you, everything. Everything is done because of Him. Now sin, sin on the other hand, is a self-glorification and idolatrous nature which covets the things of this world and wants more and more and more of it. You know what I'm saying? Like, it can never get enough because it wants to be the best. You know what I'm saying? That's what sin stemmed from. Sin, sin, sin wants to be the best that it can be, but it'll never be that. Therefore, it's dead because there's only one true living God. It wants, it wants, it wants. And want is a, a state of lacking. Okay? It's a state of lacking. It's a state of lacking what you already have in the living God. Okay? He says, I will give unto thee the keys to the kingdom of heaven. And whatsoever thou shalt bind on earth shall be loosed in heaven. And whatsoever thou shalt loose on earth shall be loosed in heaven. Okay? So basically, he's telling uh, Simon that he's going to become awesome. And <clears throat> because of uh, the Father being in him. Okay? Okay? Like, literally, awesome. Like, awesome. You know. He's telling him, uh, uh, I will give unto you the keys to the kingdom of heaven, and whatsoever thou shalt bind on earth shall be bound in heaven, and whatsoever thou shalt loose on earth shall be loosed in heaven. He's telling him this because we're the workmanship. We are the workmanship created in Jesus Christ unto good works, okay? Which God hath before ordained that we should walk in them. That is the key, okay? That we should walk in them, okay? That's a key. Before ordained that we should walk in them. That is the key. That is the key to the kingdom of heaven, okay? And, just going over, we're getting ready to end. We're going over um, the mark that no man might buy or sell. These men right here, they don't buy or sell. Because they are the workmanship created in Jesus Christ unto good works, which God hath before ordained that we should walk in them. And that is why it says, He causeth all. 
Okay. Because we need saved from our sin. Okay? And knowing that you aren't allowed to acknowledge that Christ is the Son of the living God without the Father which is in heaven, which means you are already sanctified and saved. Okay? So, so all this, all this um, RFID chip, all this um, vaccine stuff, all this uh, <coughs> turning your body into a robot type of crap, it's just bullshit, man. It makes things way more complicated than it needs to be. Have fun. Enjoy your life. Respect every every everything that needs to be done because it's being done by the Lord God, okay? Give him reverence, okay? And then you won't have to worry about any of this. You won't have to worry about the marketplace. It's all bullcrap. People are selling stupid stories to make money. Okay, it's, it's pretty much what it is. Um, and that just goes on to explain that no man might buy or sell you that have no mark of the name of the beast. Okay? Just live your life for God, man. That's what it explains. And not to mention that the people who don't who didn't repent of the works of their own hands. Uh, we'll go here. Okay, we got uh, 9.20 here. Getting ready to finish this up here. Trying to make this under 30 minutes. We'll go to the King James Bible. And the rest of the men which were not killed by these plagues, yet repented not of the works of their hands, that they should not worship devil's gods, uh, which can neither hear, see, or walk. We'll go here. 9. Revelation. KJV, just to get a better grip of what's going on here. Revelation 9-11. What was this? This was uh, 9-20. This is talking about um, like 9/11. It's explaining to the people that um, didn't. It's explain this. This whole chapter is explaining about people who don't repent of their own works. Okay, you can go ahead and go read it, but I'm gonna end it here. Um, basically, it's describing in a way that can be, you know interpreted by the mind and how bad it actually is um, the torments that these people have to go through when they don't repent of their own works but that's the end of it it's pretty simple stuff have a good day